Hello, my name's Tristan. You've got Ty behind the camera. Welcome back to another Donald's Kia Barry St Edmunds video. Today we're going to be spending some time with the Kia EV6 GT line and give a beginner's guide to charging electric vehicles. Firstly though, Ty's going to give you a walk around of the vehicle. So let's get into it. Hello, I'm Ty and I will be taking you through your overview of this EV6 in steel matte grey. If we start here at the front, we have dual LED headlights perfect for those night country roads and will give you plenty of vision during the darkest of nights. If we come round to the side of the car we have 20 inch alloy wheels. These things are brilliant especially in the country where potholes are ravaging our roads. Continuing along the side we have flush door handles which I think are beautiful and then we've got privacy window, sunroof, as you can see, this privacy window continues all the way around to the back, to the rear window. And if you look down here, that is a GT badge, which means the interior is going to be lovely. So how about we take a look inside? And now we're inside. So we're not gonna do a full interior overview of this car, but there are a few features that we really like and wanted to point out to you. So immediately you'll notice when you're in this car, you've got these two fantastic 12.3 inch screens. You've got your digital driver's display in front of you, and you've got your infotainment system, which is touchscreen right in the middle there, which as you can see, is showing the battery percentage there. There's some couple of other really great features that come with this car. You've got an uh, upgraded Meridian sound system, so the audio quality in here is absolutely fantastic. If you divert your eyes down to the centre console there, you've got USB and USB-C charging. A lovely convenient location is to not get the cables all tangled up in the centre console like you sometimes get in some other vehicles. Um, you've got full climate control, which includes heated and cooled seats just to keep your peaches at an ample temperature. And, um, and if you divert your eyes to the back of the car, we've got loads of room, loads of leg room, loads of head room. As this is an electric car, you've got that fantastic flat floor. So there's no bump where the, uh, where the drive shaft would be uh, in between your legs if you're that middle passenger. And you've obviously got this absolutely fantastic electronically operated sunroof, which is just brilliant for those summer days. But we won't delve too much into the interior. As you can see, we've got 11% of charge to charge up. So we're gonna get straight into the beginner's guide to charging electric vehicles. So now it's time to charge the EV6. There's a few ways of finding charging stations, but the first way we're gonna show you is by using one of the inbuilt ways in the infotainment system here. So on the home screen, we go in. and we find the EV charging button. Once on this screen, there's a search for chargers icon in the bottom right hand corner, which will then list every charging station by distance from you. And as you can see there, it shows you at what speed, how many kilowatt hours each charging station is able to uh, supply the vehicle. That's gonna play a huge factor in determining how fast you can get the car charged up. We happen to be at a 150 kilowatt hour DC charger here which is gonna charge this car really quickly. It's likely to do 80% in under half an hour. So now we're gonna to cut to showing you just how we go through the process of charging the car. So to begin charging, we first gotta open the charging port on this car. Now it's located on the driver's rear side. And to open that, there is a button on the right hand side of the steering wheel that shows a little charging, uh, charging unit icon. Once you press that, we see a little pop up on the dri digital driver's display showing that the charging door is open and you're ready to go. Now we'll jump to the back. So the charge port is now open, it's time to charge the car. So you've got a number of options for, for payment of uh, charging your car. One, you can do it through apps. Uh, the Kia app, you can do that through as well. You can do it through contactless car payment, or you can do it with a charge card like we're gonna to do today. So all I have to do is tap the charge card, select the plug I'd like. We've got access to fast DC charging here, so that's what we're going to use. Select the plug and then move around, take out the one that's flashing, which is our DC plug here, remove our extra cap, and plug in the charger. And if we revert back to the screen, we know that the car is now charging. So back in the car now, we are charging. 
Where the icon was when we opened the charge cap, we've now got the remaining time and the number of kilowatts we're charging at. So it says we've got 19 minutes left until we reach 100%. I think you fancy a Greg's, don't you? Oh, yes. Time is just coming up to quarter past one, and we'll see by the time we've come back from Greg's if we've reached 100%. Good. We're back. We've had our Greg's. The car is at 100%. We literally went in, grabbed a sandwich, ate the sandwich, and we're back here. It was less than the time it, it took, that it said it would take to get that last 10% to 100%. And so, it was so convenient. I imagine if you stopped for half an hour, 40 minutes, you'd have plenty of time, plenty of charge, plenty of extra range, and it's just that easy. So all we've got to do now is go around the back, unplug the charger and pop it back in, and away we go.